Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Stone Block to a Toasty Network. This is Dan. Hey Tiffa! <laughs> now you're a snow block. <laughs> Look, what hey. happened to my body? <laughs> What's wrong with your hands? Why is it in front of you? Is it? Isn't this supposed to be the front of your oh, body? Oh, this one is correct. Yeah, that's that's right. Okay, how about that. But your your head is like you're you're having like a seizure. What? <laughs> is that is that right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Can okay. you jump? Yeah, I can. Ooh, you can jump without any feet, like the stone block. <laughs> the <laughs> Petra, <laughs> like the Petra. <laughs> so, hey. Yes. Why did you change your armor? Last episode, you said you won't change to the higher tier draconic <sighs> armor. Okay, okay. <laughs> you still have that? Now I'm gonna return it because what? I need the flight. Oh and yeah. We don't. I mean, do we still have the? Boosters? I can't. I can't wait for someone to give the flight. Yeah, we have. And we still I'm have... working on something really important that requires flight. Right. We still have one hour of active flight, but uh, from time to time it yeah. expires. Yeah, and it's so hard. It's like happy times are over if there's no flight. Good thing um, Draconic Armor Yee. Has built in flight in it So nothing Much change In our basic set Of course How about for this? What? Yeah except for <laughs> Except for Our um, ME controllers here You recognize that design? Oh my gosh, no, I did. I meant this one, the one I'm standing on. Oh, this is a security. Um, um, what you call this? This is part of the security of our base. Really? So, since um, this base is public, because if it's not, you won't be able to teleport here. Mm hmm. So. Uh, other people can also teleport here But they're just up to this point Just by using the IS teleport space my name oh my gosh, I can And they will land here Is this water? Oh my gosh, we're underwater <laughs> Hey, go out! Yeah. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! So, if they what? are not trusted How they, do you close they, that? They won't be able to uh, go inside So I have here break the door if you have trust then put it back how did you close it this one the lever oh there's the, the lever. oh there's the lever oh okay okay so, okay, so if they stay too long they drown <laughs> okay okay so and i think i think people we we normally invite here uh -huh. should set home somewhere else yep so it's not that we are not uh, welcoming, welcoming, welcoming any visitor. <laughs> it's just uh, so it's that not we ready won't yet. <laughs> we won't be surprised by by anyone who's just uh, peeking around. <laughs> or it's not just the base is not ready. Yeah, and okay. uh, as I mentioned, we have this um, ME controller set up. This is my usual. Uh, design that I copied go? from from someone I saw in in YouTube. And you forgot that someone. Um, I think it's non sanity. Ooh, you remember it remembered. finally. <laughs> yes. Where are you? I like I like this design. It's it's it looks good, somewhat efficient in terms of of. Uh, channels i don't need that much channels anyway specifically in this pack because of project e it's um it looks futury yep so futury. the way this works each of these p2p tunnel me will give us 
32 channels that we can use um, anywhere around this base Ooh. as long as it's connected to this controller setup. So this is one then smart cable. This is already providing 32 channels outside. And then I can extend it to have another 32 channels Ooh. outside of each connection. So this dense cable can accommodate like 32 channels going each? yes going outside and each of those channels can have another 32 channel using this p2p tunnel so oh. multiply 32 by 32 that's the amount of channels that uh, that's too many I can use. <laughs> and that's not just uh that's just one dense cable i can hook up another one oh and it gosh. will accommodate 32 by 32 channels once again as long as uh, we have that much Oops. p2p tunnel but we don't so this okay. is just where are you around oh you're there 64 i think more than 64 p2p p2p yeah <laughs> point to point but we don't need that much anyway i just like how it looks <laughs> yeah because it looks featurey so, as oh no i added one more uh reactor here oh, so we have two oh, reactors really? now yeah there's two now i didn't notice that and this as well is producing more than enough energy that we need right now mm. and uh, these two are hooked up to the flux network which is giving us the wireless energy that's why our armors and uh, staff Draconic staff is being charged wirelessly, oh. automatically. And the bow. And the bow. Where did and you that's go? why we are also able to um, use wireless energy to your city because of this flux, flux network. And we have uh, more than enough energy for everything that we do right now. But I plan on working on... Uh, high-end energy production just for the sake of doing it <sighs> but as i mentioned earlier we don't need this much um this much energy this big this big setup of me as well as much energy because of project e project e oh gosh, kind of face. oh <laughs> what's wrong with your face <laughs> project e kind of make Things. messes the games up not really messes but it makes things Oops. easier as long as you've done it once because if oh, yeah. if you guys are not familiar with project e it's an equivalent exchange as long as the item has an emc value mm -hmm. even as long as you have enough regardless of on how hard it needs to be crafted yeah the process You can duplicate that using EMZ, EMC. <laughs> For example, 64K storage cell. Hey, should we show it? This, uh, later. This <laughs> okay. is something that uh, needs, or usually I make an automation out of it so that I can mass produce this one. Mm -hmm. But with EMC value of 200,000, that's an easy... Uh, easy way to build easy it. way to get it because oh yeah get I it. only have to have like two blocks of emeralds for 164k and that's it I can I can uh, get it so I made this setup for the me uh, automation so that I can automate the processor this mm. is the beginning of Uh, all of my automation actually so that I can But mass produce need it? processes and then I stopped in the middle because okay. I saw someone in chat project E project E uh, transportation table etc so this one and then I got curious so I started working on the transmutation table like this mm -hmm. and um, you you get started with it by uh, um, crafting this extreme crafting table I'm not sure if that's the same for all mod packs but uh, in this pack you need to craft the uh, transmutation table 
using the uh, extreme crafting table. It takes a lot of process because you need the dark matter. Uh, it's very expensive. The the fuels, the Project E fuels. Like, hold on, I'm not very familiar with Project E, but uh, this is the first pack that I've uh, tried it actually. This Eternalis fuel. It requires a lot of coal to produce. So you start with Philosopher's Stone, to Alchemical Coal, Mobius Fuel, and then make this Eternalis Fuel. And then eventually I was able to make oh, wait. a transmutation table. Did you start when, you, when we got the Philosopher's Stone? Yes, that's the start. Uh, actually, when you did the, uh, the Philosopher's Stone for... Uh, the for um, the cow, the peaceful yeah for the, the peaceful mushroom. module. I just threw that stone inside our storage because I didn't plan on on Using working it. on Project E. But and then I you got, finally did it. I got curious, and then once I was able to make this transmutation table, everything becomes very easy. I just have to sacrifice. Yes. EMC. Some stuff that I don't need, and because we have this chicken setup, we have lots of emeralds that I can sacrifice, and um, even draconium We're ingots that I can sacrifice to easily craft uh, those those um, items that are usually Oops. painful to craft. Hey, where did you go? And then oh. I got consumed. By that activity and from then after making this one my my goal went from doing some automation to, to producing just... to just producing a lot of EMC so I found and I found ways to do that so one the, the most basic way to get started with it is with this flower setup Flower? They, they, yeah, they call it the flower collector or whatever, but and, oh. it is in their their wiki. So this is the setup. So what you need are this energy collectors. It can it it it, it doesn't necessarily be uh, Mark Three, but oh, that's, okay. the, that's the MK Three. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the highest tier. So you surround this. Antimatter relay. I mean, you surround the energy condenser, which converts the uh, which converts the collected EMC to the uh, preferred item that you want, which has a specific EMC value. Uh, for this example, I'm converting it to red matter matter block, which is 1.8 million EMC, and then. Um, uh, this this um, energy condenser is surrounded by relays, which is responsible for relaying the EMC gathered by the collector. The energy collector is the one that collects passive energy uh, for this whole setup. So mm. this is one setup. This it's is another, another setup. And it's and another then, and, so and another. On. I'm not sure why the first one is not getting sucked to our ME. This should be automatically Ooh. imported by why is this not turned on? Hmm. Hmm. I need Maybe to you should do the troubleshooting later. Yeah. But uh, this is weird. This, this is supposed to be working. Maybe I exceeded the channel? No. I have three. This, this is the only one that's not working. This channel. Okay, mm. this is the basic setup. This is where I got our initial EMC production uh, that allowed me to continue on the, the more... Um, complicated one. Complicated setup. The next one... Where did you go? I oh. realized... What? Oh. Just by looking mm. our chickens, <laughs> I realized chicken? the most efficient chicken to produce emc is the emerald where's the emerald uh, we don't have the emerald here and oh, uh, anymore because where is it? i transferred it to their their uh uh emerald chicken army <laughs> of what? some sort where is that 
come here. You haven't seen this because I've been doing this secretly. <laughs> Secret? Oh my gosh, you're keeping secrets from me. Yes. Okay. So um, wait, go, wait, do you, wait. Do you have? I, I I believe I made you this personal shrinking device. Yeah, the Game Boy. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So, where did you go? Oh my gosh, where did you go? Hey, I'm still here. Oh, you're there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, before we go there, so included mm. in this pack is the uh, compact machines. I really like this mod. We used this in Direwolf Twenty. Uh huh. Because this makes our base less laggy with all of the uh, uh, automation going on. So I made the biggest room and uh, this is this is it. This is the first one. This one. Um, can I preview this? Is there a way to preview this? Um, I know there is. I just forgot the hot hotkey. But um, go inside this first one first. First one? The, 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 this one. Okay, so this is our chicken empire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> one, two, Look three, at that. four, five, six, seven. So this is one, the next two, generation three, of six, uh, our nine, EMC two. production. The first one is the flower setup that I show as shown earlier. <laughs> <laughs> How many chickens are in here? Uh, there um, are like three layers of this setup. So okay. each layer will have their own roost collector because the roost collector oh. collects the produce of the chicken uh, of nine by nine perimeter around oh, it. Oh, okay. So that's why you three did three blocks high. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So it can't be just one roost collector for everything. So one layer composed of one roost collector and seven by seven uh, two, three, four, I'm, I'm not sure five, if six, this seven. area oh. here or this corner Would will be also be counted uh, I didn't try but nah. maybe but um, I I, uh, I I prefer this this setup anyway well, that, but I can that see that explains why I was wondering why are there some empty space in here you could have used it so I think that explains why uh, okay yeah so we have here like seven by three 21, 21. each layer each side and the three uh layers that's three times 21 63 63 in one side times four that's oh the total gosh. amount of emerald we don't have pj to do the math and that's just uh counting just one and just each in each of these roosts we have 16 so multiply that but by 16 what that's the number of chicken we have oh my gosh <laughs> and i'm sure a lot wow. or some some uh, other uh, people have more more chickens um have have, have bigger, bigger setup than this than me this is just I, i'm satisfied with this uh, this is enough for the uh, second generation of EMC <laughs> production, <laughs> the Chicken Empire. Let's call it the chick, the Emerald Chicken Empire. Oh my god! I was gosh. making more chickens, but I already stopped it because I don't have any place for them. If I want to, I can make another room. Oh my gosh! What similar are we gonna do with this, so much? But yeah, I'll I'll have to stop this. Um, this is this is uh, okay for for this chicken setup. Next, we go to the next room, and we'll be right back for that. Okay. All right, guys, we are back in the next room. Where are we? What's this? Oh my gosh! Go around, go around. Um, look for the hole. I don't. I can I, I I don't fit. Because you're fat. Where? How did you do that? No, no, no! Don't go. Don't go through the middle. Just go. I'll go around. Around, yes. So, come find me. Just walk around. Oh my and gosh. Then you will. Don't go in the middle. I told you. Okay. This is like a puzzle. This is the third generation. <laughs> third generation of. Oh my gosh. My How many EMC, generations are there? EMC production. Ooh, what's these? So, this is the dragon 
seed or the dragon plant or the dragon egg production setup. Dragon seeds? What? And this have two layers in it. Oh, how do I go up? Oops, oops. I can't. So there. basically, this is a dragon egg production with, with four quadrants of plantation of dragon seeds. What hey, this produce is a dragon egg essence. Oh, just the essence. Uh-huh. And this is being boosted by the imaginary time block uh, for it to grow faster. Mm-hmm. And then being gathered by plant interactor as well as harvester because uh, I don't think the plant interactor is fast enough to gather uh, all these uh, um, resources um, even with two setups so I had to add harvesters to kind of um, fill in the gaps uh, of, of the uh, Where did you um, go? the plant plant interactors oh so my what, gosh what have you done did you get the seed? yeah plant it again hey I like the flower it's it looks like it looks like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, because it's a dragon egg. So what this does, the interactors and the gatherer uh, um, harvests the uh, the the plant, and then the essence via. Oops. Where where did you go? Via this Xnet network. Xnet oh. is being transported here in the middle. Mm-hmm. The crafter, the crafter then crafts the dragon egg chunk and oh. finally the dragon egg, and okay. is then being exported to uh, the wooden storage crate here, Where? which is connected uh, to the um, importer me importer outside of this room. Oh my gosh, so I'm that's lost. The process. Where are you? I fell down. And I'm not sure if these blocks are helping the growth Oops. accelerator, which is under Dragon Egg Crooks. I'm not sure, but I feel that it does. You, you feel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not able to confirm uh, because of, of you have some, to confirm some, your feelings. <laughs> some DPS issues. Oh, but, yeah. Um, Where are you? This is the controller of the Xnet, which is uh, configured to do its job. You don't have to look at it because you won't understand. It. <laughs> oh my gosh, this place is so. It's so. So what? It's so claustrophobic. <laughs> oh my gosh! Why? Okay. Okay. What? Let's go outside, and I'll introduce you to the fourth generation. This is the third one, right? I think so. <laughs> is there gonna be a fifth? Um, I'm not sure. But I only have four, uh, so far. four sources of EMC production for now. Oh my um, gosh, what are we going to do with so much? Okay, I'll see you go there. go outside and we'll be right back. Okay. All right, guys, we are back. Oh my gosh, where did you go? Oh, you're what? just there. Okay. <laughs> I'm just standing next to you. You were? You're focusing on your burger. That's why you're getting fat. Okay, 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 okay. okay so what's the so fifth gen? Oh, fourth gen. Fourth generation. Uh, it's it's the fourth source of EMC. Why do I have this <laughs> uh, chunks shown? Okay, mm -hmm. so the first one is the flower. The second one is the chicken uh, empire. The third one is the... Uh, dragon egg production. Mm -hmm. The fourth one, I think, is the most... What's this? It's or a, gives us the most EMC is the cows. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. We're almost done with the cow. I'm done with the cows. I mean, no. The the quest. We're almost oh, done. right. Yeah. But I was already able to get the infinity cow. Infin to I infinity. already tried it. Look, it it's mortal infinity. It was already able to give us... Uh, um, like six ingots of infinity... So it costs 37 I think 37 billion EMC. Oh my gosh. Per oh. ingot. What are you going to do with a lot of those EMC? EMCs? I don't know. 
I think I don't I don't even think that we need that much EMC. Yeah, because like when building I only need maybe concrete. Uh-huh. And How much EMC does that cost? Um let me like see. Like eight? <laughs> concrete. That's oh my gosh, it's eight. It's eight EMC. What am I gonna do with that? Well, you can make uh three billion worth of concrete. Of concrete. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not I'm not really sure if we need that much. Uh-huh. I don't think we do. Uh, but it's just um, uh, I don't have anything else to do in this pack if hey, if not for producing lots of EMC for your consumption. Hey, you're gonna <laughs> use it soon. Okay, let's 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 go. So Where's the fourth the gen? So the cow. Where is it? Um, Why does this place have a lot of holes? <laughs> oh, it's there. So we have here Whee! three infinity cows already. Ooh. Can you see that? I just bred this this two cows earlier, and it produced the third one. Um, How many do you need? Maybe I, I'll be maintaining uh, maybe just ten. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna so I can so I can uh, put them out uh, all at once uh, at some point. But that's the maximum. <laughs> that's the maximum that I can put out. Uh, yeah. Per the rule of of the server. Um, but look at the time, the breeding time. It's still one, one hour, hour. Uh, for for me to be able this to breed another one. Yes, this one is ready, but it does not have a partner. Oh. The next usage is oh. three hours, so we can't really. What do you get, mean by next usage? You uh, mean it's it's the next um, available time for it to produce liquid. Oh, when, uh-huh. when you're gonna put it in the in in the cow? Oh, like Stall. this one. Uh huh. But these um, are everything, and I'm stepping on them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, don't do that. They their their feelings will be hurt. Oh my god. And they gosh. they won't produce uh, uh, the necessary like? fluid coming out from their body. Mm. <laughs> so <Okay>. apparently, <laughs> also, Where did you go? I found out, and I'm not sure if this is a bug or or whatsoever. A feature. <laughs> or a feature. Uh, the next usage countdown seems to go down slower when they are in the stall than oh. when they are outside the world. This one said. Is this the, does this mean four minutes and twenty two seconds supposed, supposed to, be. to be? Yes, and but look at that. It's, it's stuck the number in there. Is, <laughs> num- number is not going down. Like for like twenty two, seconds. Three, <laughs> four, five. Okay, whatever. I don't want to count. But when they are outside, it seems to work normally. Slower oh. than normal, but uh, closer than normal. So it's not with the TPS. It's not. I think it's a bug or a feature <laughs> within the feature. mod. So oh calling gosh. out the attention of the mod creator of this. Yeah, mod creator fluid cow. Is that intended or is that a bug? A <laughs> or else, uh, the best thing to do is to put them out when they are uh, waiting uh, to be um, used again. <laughs> Uh-huh. And then just put them back in to the stall when they are ready. So that's why I said I only I I will only be maintaining ten, so that I can put them all out uh, mm-hmm. at once, and the mods will not kill them. Okay. <laughs> because why not six, so um, that you have a buffer of four. Uh, ten is fine. Okay. I don't like I don't I don't like six. Where did you go? Okay, so it's almost restart. Already, and um, I think this is a good time to wrap up the episode as well. Oh my gosh! So we have that uh, um, EMC generators or e- EMC generations. <laughs> That's Gen- why they are they are oh called first, second, and third generations. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder what's the fifth. I'm not sure. Um, Will there be? I don't think so i think the infinity ink is already is, the, is the best. last one if if uh, you guys know other ways to produce emc uh without using any uh um what you call that what you call that where did uh, you go oh the, uh, 
exploits. <laughs> <laughs> Because I I saw some exploits uh, in EMC production, but I'm sure they are already fixed. Is there? Like uh, the the oh, one I told this? you. Oh, The the repair. Oh, this one. Um, remember the issue you are having with the builder? That it's so slow. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. Like one chunk takes like two hours. <laughs> and I told you that we can't do anything about it because it's uh, with the TPS and so. Yeah, that's what you kept telling me. Apparently, there's a solution, and this is the machine infuser. So what this does, you put the RF tool machine here, like the builder, and then you feed it with uh, dimensional shards. Oh, let and me see. And then it will infuse it. Um, we don't have much dimensional shards, but I used the EMC to mass produce it and then infuse two of our builders. It is significantly Can faster. Can you try to put... What? Burger? No. Why are you holding a... Bur- What's that? Another builder. Yeah, I want a lot of builders. Hey, don't use a lot of builders. I mean, no, that it's it's just for sample purposes. I don't know what I'm going to do with all those builders. We have a lot of them. So what you do is to put that. What? And then may- maybe fit it in this uh, hopper. What's happening? Oh, it's getting infused. Yes. Once it's 100%, it will be 100% faster than the normal. It's like 1% one, one is equal to 1 shard? I'm not sure, but... I believe you can you will be using about 256 shards. Oh my gosh. To, to complete it. it? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. But too it's many. not a completion percentage. You can stop at 50% and just uh, Oh, it's going to improve. Yep. It will improve 50%. Okay. See, it's just 26%. Mhm. You have to feed it more uh, dimensional shards. Anyway, um, I'm planning to make our base a more compact. Um, Since we don't need much space for automation, I want it to be like small and humble. Humble, humble home. Good looking, efficient. How about this one? I like this future, futurey, future, futurey thingy. <laughs> yeah, we can reduce this or. Even just use Futura block instead of using. Oh yeah, the Chiso one. Me controllers. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because we don't need this much channels with. Where did you go? Uh, with what we plan oh, there. in this base, since we don't, we won't do much automation anyway. So once you're done with everything, what are you? I mean, everything here in the base. What would you be doing? Uh, projects in United Claims, uh, like the one you want me uh, to make, uh, okay, like, uh, okay, like, like okay. a data center there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Why did you say that? Anyway, um, I think this is a good time to com- to to finish this to okay, end this video. There. If you guys like this video, please do subscribe, uh-huh. like and share. I'm not getting hurt. Leave your burgers. Okay. <laughs> And we will see you on the next one. Bye.